you struggling with low FPS and high input delay? Well, today's video is for you. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing my new free tweaking panel that will boost FPS and decrease input delay. Before we get into the video though, I want to tell you guys about my paid tools which will completely optimize your PC for the maximum possible performance. These tools can be found at risentweaks.com and have over 4,000 reviews on the Discord and website combined, so rest assured you're going to love the results. But with that said, let's get into the video. Go my Discord and go to the tweaking panel channel and download Risen Free V19 and this file is completely open source so you can right click on it and click edit and see every single line of code in here and to use this file right click on it and click run as administrator and it's going to create a system restore point and download the tools needed for this app and the first thing we're going to do is our window settings so type in one and hit enter and then the first one is just general window settings so type in one and hit enter again and click any key and then the second one is our free power plan. So type in two and hit enter and click show additional plans and then click on the risen free plan V1. But I'm going to stick with my paid plan and you can close this, click any key again and type in three. This is going to block windows updates. Windows updates will unapply tweaks and it'll add more bloatware onto your system since it's not actually benefiting you. It's good to just disable these. I recommend enabling it every like three or four months just to see if there's any security updates. But besides that, I would keep it fully disabled. So click on disable updates and protect service settings and then click on apply now. Then you can close out of this, hit any key. And then number four, we're gonna disable telemetry, which is just Windows diagnostic feature. And this is a huge resource hog, so I highly recommend using this option. So type in four and hit enter and click any key. Then the fifth one is just some IO tweaks. This is going to lower your latency or your input delay. So type in five and hit enter. Then type in X and hit enter to go back. And the second thing we're going to do is de blow our windows. So type in two and hit enter. And the first thing we're going to do is uninstall apps that come pre installed with Windows. If you want to see every single app that's uninstalled, type in three and hit enter. But I'm just going to uninstall them by typing one and hitting enter. Then type in two and hit enter, click OK right here and then click start up at the top and disable everything in here you don't want starting when you first boot your PC. This is not disabling the app, it's just making it to where it doesn't load as your windows loads. Then you can close out of this and type in three to apply our CPU tweaks. This will disable power saving on your CPU and say your minimum and maximum processor state to 100 so your CPU doesn't drop off while gaming. So type in three and hit enter and then type in four for our miscellaneous settings. And the first option is menu kill time, which basically what this does, if an app dies out in the background while you're gaming, Windows is going to send a lot of resources to that app, which will decrease your performance. And by setting this menu kill time, it's going to set the buffer lower. So after the app dies out for like 10 seconds, it's just going to kill it instead of waiting even longer so you won't get as big as a performance stream. So type in one and hit enter. And then two is MSI mode. This will just make your network adapter and your graphics card run faster. So type in two and hit enter. And once you're in here, find your graphics card and look for the box that says MSI, check it. Then go to interrupt priority and set this to high or undefined if you have a really good PC. And then also look for your ethernet or your Wi-Fi adapter. Mine is this Intel i210, so check MSI and then set this to high or undefined and then click apply in the top right. Then you can close out of this and click any key and then type in X and hit enter. The last thing we're going to do is clean our temporary files. This just deletes files you no longer need on your PC and it's good to do this every couple of days. So type in five and hit enter and then click any key. And then once you've done that, restart your PC to see the changes take effect. If this helped you out, leave it down below in the comments. But with that said, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.